Hey guys, it's Jason from Mileside. Today we will show you how to install and configure the 4G solar power traffic sensing camera. Now, let's unbox this unique camera first. To save your additional purchase, we offer gadgets like brackets, solar panel cable of MC4 interface, and screws apart from the camera. Here's what you can prepare in advance. Let's loosen the screws at the bottom and you can see different interfaces here. For the first time, you may insert the SD card and SIM card to enable data storage and transmission. And then, we can turn on the device by switching the little button. The indicator light flashes green and stays on, which makes the Wi-Fi of the device is turning on. Now we can join the camera's Wi-Fi and continue to configure. You can find the device Wi-Fi in your mobile device, named as SC Plus 6 numbers, which are the last six digits of the camera's MAC address. After connecting to the camera on your mobile, log into the camera's IP in the browser and input the default username and the password. The password can be reset for your private security. You can check the battery status of the camera on the status interface, including whether it's charging, charging mode, remaining power, and GPS location. If the battery is low, please use Type-C to charge in advance before carrying it outside. You can also test the 4G module by connecting to the network interface. Please notice that the GPS location is available after 4G started to work. Now press the button of Wi-Fi to make the camera enter sleep mode. Put the camera plate back and then the camera is ready. The 4G solar power traffic sensing camera is flexible enough to be applicable to be placed in areas which wiring is difficult. The camera can be installed in two ways which are pole mount and wall mount. In this video, we will show you the pole mount way. The first step is installing the solar panel. You may need a proper bracket if you need to install it in pole mount. Loosen the screw at the bottom of the back plane and remove the back plane. Then connect the back plane with straps directly or with three axis ball mounting bracket, which can rotate 360 degrees to adjust the monitoring angle, meeting various installation environments. There are two screws on the top and bottom of three axis ball mounting bracket. Please make sure that the two screws are totally loose when adjusting the bracket. After finishing adjusting, tighten any one of the screws to fix the bracket. To gain a broader field of view, we recommend the height of the camera location to be 1 to 3 meters. If the camera is installed appropriately, it can detect approaching vehicles up to 70 km per hour and in certain directions from a distance of up to 25 meters. Back to the camera. Now we need to connect the solar panel and process with the last step. That's to configure the image based on the actual conditions. Log into the web page in the browser again and go to the Capture Management. You can set the image parameters including brightness, contrast, and switch day and night mode. Next to the Capture Management, we can adjust the camera's position in real time according to the preview. As you can see, the green frame is regarded as the detection area, and you can drag the screen to draw it. You can also select whether to capture a full image or a cropped one and click here to draw the cropping area. Then you could choose the resolution you need. The continuous capture can take pictures periodically and you can set the interval as you like. Images upload mode can be chosen as timing or triggered. If you have picked the timing upload, you can choose the frequency and when to upload each time. Thanks to the high compatibility, this camera can transmit the snapshots remotely via MQTT to any third-party system which guarantee the full compatibility with AMPR platform. More advanced functions like smart search and license plate recognition can be realized. Fill in the information and click on save. That means the whole configuration is completed. Let's see how the snapshot works. You can check what image the camera just captured in the storage interface. Click the zoom in icon. Then, you will get a clear picture of the vehicle just passing by.